Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Master Paul. I am honored to be with you today, Friday, I believe it's the 12th of August. And so today is the last day of the week in which I will be offering this uh, Soul Communication, Soul Connection through Facebook. <clears throat> Next week I will start again with a new series. I'm contemplating working on the seven soul houses, but we'll find out as we move forward what's going to be best. But today, what I'll be focusing on is connecting to our own soul. And one of the ways in which we need to connect to our own soul is through communication. Another way is through soul language. There's a variety of ways in which we can connect to our soul, and we're going to discuss some of those today. And when I'm done doing sharing and a few flows, then I might open it up to uh, questions. <clears throat> but we'll see how far along we get before I do that. <clears throat> so thank you for joining. My name is Master Paul. I am honored to be a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. For those that are new who will watch this at some point in the future, Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha is a world-renowned healer he is a doctor of Western and Eastern medicine. He's a world-class acupuncturist. And since early age of five, maybe six, he has been training. Uh, he trained in the form of Tai Chi. He mastered that by the age of 10. Imagine that. Then he moved into other uh, modalities, including becoming a grandmaster in Tai Chi, Qigong, Feng Shui, I Ching, uh, and many other very uh, relevant modalities that has brought him to the point where he is now an extraordinary uh, miracle healer today. In 2003, Dr. Master Shah became a divine channel. He was asked by the divine to serve humanity selflessly. And since then, he has been doing such and accordingly has been increasing his abilities. Dr. Master Shah's main statement is, heal the soul first and the mind and body will follow. He said in a one sentence secret, the soul is the boss. And in his new book, Soul Over Matter, one of the first things he points out <clears throat> is that mind over matter has served humanity very well, but it is not enough. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about soul and soul connection. First, I want to acknowledge all those that are joining me here today. So welcome Yvonne, welcome Rianne, wonderful to see you. Welcome Anne-Marie, thank you for joining and thank all of you for sharing. I invite all of you that are joining to hit the share button and let other people know that the video is now live. <clears throat> um, Ari, great to see you. Adelia, I believe that's the first time I've seen you come online live here. So happy to have you. Welcome Kristen, welcome Healing Ray. Um, I, I think it's uh, Catherine or Christine, but I'm still not sure. I was talking to Kristen who has been staying connected to you and she's been very beneficial. Thank you, Gloria. Welcome, great to see you. Thank you for sharing. Those who I've not mentioned, it's because for whatever reason, your name has not popped up on my feed here, but know you're in my heart and I will be definitely connecting to you throughout this. So especially if you make any kind of a posting, I'll definitely see you, but it normally pops up and just says somebody is watching. But well, sometimes I don't get to see everybody. <coughs> Cheryl, thank you, Kristen. <coughs> so in <coughs> excuse me. So um, in preparing for today, what I normally do is I check in with you know divine Tao and source, and I ask, what is the what is the message for today? And it was it was kind of amusing because it said, well, why don't you talk about what you've been having to do some practice with? And so that seems to be the case with a lot of what I teach. It's what I am also learning. This morning with my uh, mentor, <coughs> excuse me, as a divine channel, we, uh, we have divine channels that have been doing this quite a bit longer. And uh, so my mentor and I was discussing this morning, let me drink some water so I can get rid of this frog. <coughs> Thank you for your patience. And so, um, and we were talking and uh, about some of the things I'm doing locally here and what's working, what's not working. And she asked a question. She said, well, have you talked to your soul? 
And I thought about the, uh, the question. I said, you know, I don't think I've talked to my soul all that much. And this entire nine-year miracle experience with Master Shah, almost all of my communication has been with other souls, with Divine, with Tao, with, Do with Source, with Jesus, with Buddha, with Guan Yin, with pretty much every soul that's on this soul journey and guiding me, except my own soul. Of course, I've had some conversations, but certainly not a lot. And that was quite um, uh, an eye-opener for me. And my mentor, she said, <clears throat> you know, Paul, it's very important to connect with your soul. And I stopped her from continuing and I said, you know, I had an insight just now and I said, um, my soul has a plan. I, I've spoken that many times. And I have been leapfrogging past my soul to, the, to these souls that it looks up to but I have not been fully connected. So how can I possibly hear the plan of my soul if I'm not connecting to it on a day-to-day -day basis? So it was quite a, a revelation. Now, some of you may have been very blessed for you doing that every day, but my guess is that at least half of you aren't, and I know I wasn't on a day-to-day -day basis. So I did. And so today, we're going to focus a bit more on connecting to your soul and the power and the significance of doing so. I'm going to offer a flow to start out with. <clears throat> After we do a connection, we're going to connect to Divine Tao and Source, do a forgiveness practice. We're going to chant love, peace, and harmony to connect hearts to hearts and souls to souls. And then I'm going to do a flow. And the flow will be about the power and the significance of you connecting to your own soul on a daily basis. <clears throat> so first, let's connect. Placing our hands in the soul light, soul service hand position. Just the left palm over your message center and the right palm pointed towards heaven. Let us connect. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, and the source, dear Master Shah, dear Master Shah's original soul, dear all of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, we love you, we honor you, we appreciate you, respect you, and I bow down to you. I'm deeply honored to ask for your presence here today in this uh, live stream to borrow my mouth, allow me to speak your wisdom, your truth, so that I speak in the voice of Master Shah, so that the highest truths are shared in such a way where people receive the greatest benefits. <clears throat> to the soul of the message of what is the power and the significance of communicating with your soul. I love you, honor you, respect you. When I do the flow, could you please borrow my mouth, allow me to serve these souls in the highest and best way. Dear all souls in all universes, you can repeat after me, dear all souls in all universes, if I or my ancestors have brought any form of harm or suffering to you in any manner, known or unknown, I and my ancestors wish to Sincerely, sincerely apologize. We know that to ask for forgiveness is simply not enough, that we have made huge mistakes. We know we have made mistakes because we have had unpleasant suffering in our life. And we recognize that it's entirely possible where we are suffering is where we have caused suffering upon others. So we wish to ask for your forgiveness. We will serve. We will continue to earn the opportunity to receive your forgiveness. And if you have harmed me or my ancestors, we offer you our unconditional forgiveness. We wish to release you entirely of any karmic debt that you have to us. We are truly, truly honored and grateful. Do the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony transmitted to all the souls on this live stream, all the souls that will come in later, all the souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. We invite you to turn on your source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to chant with us as we connect hearts and hearts, souls and souls. <clears throat> so let us chant. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, la, li, lula. Lula, li, 
ลูลาลูลาลีลูลาวัวไอวัวเชียนฮัลลิงวัวไอทรนรันเลวันนี้ร้องเฮอร์มือสุดสิ้นสิ่งไอพิงอันเฮสิ่งสิ่งไอพิงอันเฮสิ่ง I love my heart and soul I love all humanity Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> so we've had quite a few more people join. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Pamela. Welcome, uh, Amy. Welcome, Johnny, and Crystal. Great to see you all. Welcome, Loveness. Wonderful to see all of you joining. Anybody that's new, please hit the share button. Let other people know that we're live. <clears throat> so now I will connect to the soul of the power and significance of communicating with our soul, and let's find out what we can learn from that. So, dear the soul. Of the power and significance of daily communication with our soul, <clears throat> love you, honor you, appreciate you. I ask you to please come at this time. To please allow me to speak your words. That has the highest, best, and most appropriate resonance for all those that are watching, all those that will watch in the future. I am honored. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How? This is the divine, my dear children. I love you. I love all of you. I have always loved you with all my heart and all my soul. My soul is your soul. <clears throat> The question was posed: <clears throat> What is? The power and significance of daily communication with your soul. Your soul is an aspect of me. It carries with it my innate and inherent knowing, wisdom, power, awareness. Intuitiveness, love, forgiveness, compassion, light, and every modality of service you can imagine. Therefore, your soul carries these attributes as well. Your soul has been on a journey. Some of you hundreds, some of you thousands of lifetimes, and in each experience, your soul has gained wisdom, insights, and more. <coughs> It has a very clear knowing. Direction and intention that it desires to accomplish in each new experience called life. 
your soul has a plan so to speak it is quite flexible it understands the nature of eternity and is not necessarily in a hurry as much as it is in a place of wanting to return to my heart it is this innate wanting that causes your soul to do what it can to assist you to complete its journey because you <clears throat> are its scout you are its physical representation you are a soul having a physical experience and in this physical experience you are learning to align to me to my heart daily communication with your soul allows you to stay in alignment with what it knows will cause you the least suffering with what it knows will release the greatest blockages your soul might suggest to you to not go to that friend's house that morning it may suggest to you to ask forgiveness from the boss who has been unpleasant <coughs> it may suggest to you <coughs> to avoid eating that certain food or drink each one of these intuitive guidances is truly for your highest and best interest. You think that you are in charge. You think you are making the decisions. Have you not seen you make a decision and everything seems to stand in your way? This is not I. This is sometimes not darkness. This is your soul standing in your way because it knows that that is not where it wishes to go. This morning, this one, Master Paul, received guidance from his mentor. And what this mentor told him was that when you follow the plan of God, the plan of your soul, you are, in essence, returning as quickly as possible with the least resistance this simple sentence caused a huge aha moment for master Paul and as master Shah has taught receive the wisdom share it immediately and so you are blessed to receive this on this day my encouragement to you my children my most adored ones is to check in every day you might have three or four things you know you must do but when you silence your mind and ask dear my soul what are the top three things for me you will hear things often different than what you think it is when you follow the plan in this way that everything in your life becomes smoother and easier flourishing on all levels occurs healing on all levels occurs alignment to your source occurs this is the simplicity the power and the significance of aligning to your soul I love you all unconditionally and I am always here to serve you. This is the divine. Ha 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 thank you thank you thank you. If you feel uh, connected please bow your head to the divine nine times. Thank you thank you thank you beloved divine. Such a beautiful beautiful message. <clears throat> thank you for that. Okay, so now I will assist everybody with a message from their soul. I will ask it to be short 
and I will do it in order of requests. So I will not give you a long message. I will try to keep each person's message under two minutes so I can assist all of you. So now I will wait to see who asks first. Aloha Monica, great to see you. Lula Hali Lula Lula Li Lula Oh I was in hurling. <coughs> okay. So I will start with Monica. My dear Monica, you are a treasure to me. My heart is your heart, your soul and my soul, your thoughts and my thoughts. Our intentions are closely aligned. Continue to do what you are doing. When you have doubt, when you have fear, reconnect to me. Place Master Shah's photo on your heart. Ask for forgiveness for the disconnection and stay connected to me. Ask for the fears to quell and the heart to calm. Chant Da I and all will be well. This simple guidance will keep you connected and keep our journey aligned. This is your soul. How? See, I get the special blessing of connecting to all your souls. I get to feel how beautiful they are. <clears throat> okay, so now I will do Gloria Kavasevich. My beloved Gloria, I am exceptionally proud of your service in this lifetime. You have followed my guidance well. For you and me, our main blockage lies in calming your mind enough. You do hear me actually quite a bit. But for you, dear one, let us spend more time together and quietness. It is this quiet time that you will be able to feel me. I am waiting to give you a very special signal. You will feel the signal. Pay attention. Each time you are truly connected to me, you will feel me. And then you will know my message is true and accurate. Then follow my messages and we will be substantially more aligned. This is your soul. How? 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 Thank you, glorious soul. He felt um, it is it, it felt like a, a a a male. You know, like Guan Yin is both male female. I felt the the feminine. I felt the male strength both at the same time. It was curious. It felt like a like a. a I don't know, like a Gadashir Jirpusa, you know, wisdom and intelligence and strength, but kindness and compassion. Okay, Rianne. My beloved Rianne, truly, you are a miracle. You have such a pure heart and intention. You often allow your heart and your mind to remain mixed. You wonder how can you unscramble the two. I tell you, my beloved one, I am your solution. 
as your soul, my guidance to you is to daily ask for me to connect with you. Just that. Tracing a calligraphy to connect us together. What this will accomplish is a quietening of your mind. It is important to give your mind a task when we do this. So place it in your Zhong Mingmen point while connecting to me. See me, your soul, as a golden light being in your lower abdomen. And from your heart, ask us to connect. Smile to me. Talk to me. Share with me without invoking or involving your mind. And then, stop, listen quietly, and I will give you words. Be open to that one or two words that you hear. It will eventually expand as your mind gets more quiet and less, uh, and is taught how to be less active. This consistency will help you to hear me much better. You and I have much to accomplish in this life, and I look forward to this starting sooner than later. I love you. I am your soul. How? 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beautiful soul. Thank you. Amy Minago. My beloved Amy, I am thrilled to be able to communicate with you. I cannot tell you how grateful I am that you woke up, that you moved through and passed your mind blockages and agreed to follow the teacher, Master Shah. I knew that this great one could save our journey beyond measure. Just in the short time we have connected to this most important and benevolent being, you and I have saved countless lifetimes of experiences that we would likely not have the greatest joy in experiencing. My love to you, daughter, is on and in and around, paying attention to learning calligraphy. It is in this learning, truly taking the time to learn to draw, doing the practice, that you and I will clear a great deal of our blockages. It is in the drawing of the calligraphy with great detail to accuracy, attention, love in you doing it, that we together will heal lifetimes. I tell you, this is the most important thing you can do for our journey. The rest will offer its own solutions by the nature of the clearing of the blockages that will occur by you putting forth this most needed message. I love you. I encourage you. I look forward to you supporting our journey in this lifetime even more. This is your soul. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Amy's soul. Kristen Rojas. <coughs> My dear Kristen, oh how you worry, oh how you overthink things. You just need to be. When was the last time you just was being? I cannot fully be one with you when you are doing anything other than being. You feel me. 
you express me for all others except yourself. By being one with me and just being, sitting, connecting to whatever might be happening around you without engaging your mind. 10 or 15 minutes a day you will start to know me so much better. You will start to feel a lifting up of the cloud that bothers you sometimes. You will start to reconnect to the love that I have for our Creator that you are missing some of. Be more with me and I will connect you to our love and our oneness with Source. This is your soul. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Arai. Ari. I just like saying Arai. I don't know why. Ari. My beloved Ari. You and I are like children in a candy store, and sometimes we overeat a bit too much candy, and it causes us to suffer. What do I mean? I mean that we are creatures of overwhelm. We are creatures of too much of a good thing. My encouragement to you, my beloved Ari, is to learn boundaries. Learn where too much is not a good thing. Of any one particular thing. When you learn to have better and stronger boundaries but still allow the beauty or the learning of whatever needs to come, you will have perfected balance emotionally and mentally. This is where you find yourself a bit lost and the key is what I have just stated to you. Continue to communicate with me as you have. Continue to ask more about how can I find the end of the boundary? What can I do to curb myself when I see those times coming? Because you do see them, my dear. I know because I send you the signal. But you must learn to hear and that will occur through more communication with me. This is your soul. I love you. How, how, how? She had a very, um, uh, she was almost like uh, an angel that decided to come here to help at this time just because she just wanted to be here to help. It's like, you know, she gets very impacted by different things because of the openness of, of, of her nature. Okay, so Stephanie. My beloved Stephanie, I am your soul. I feel your heaviness, your pain, your incredible love that is not understood, not returned. I feel your awareness that sometimes feels overwhelming. I know that it has been difficult for you to live in this world with all that you take in through your senses. For us to thrive, to thrive, to align my message to you my beloved one is to trust God this is the weak point for you and me 
what does that look like? That means asking and expecting knowing that it will come when it's supposed to. Whether it is money, relationship, transportation, or whatever appears to be limiting you. It is the lack of trust and the recapitulation of all that runs through your awarenesses that keeps you in a circling eddy. When you move into trust, you move into gratitude. When you stay with gratitude, you maintain momentum. It is this momentum that will jettison you out of the eddy, the whirlpool. And that will allow you and I to move forward on our journey. I love you. Please write this down and follow my guidance. This is your soul. How? 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to Stephanie's soul. This one is for Pat, Patricia. Why are we not flying? Why are we not dancing in the clouds? That is what I and you are accustomed to. My dear Pat, you have allowed the conditions of the so-called life that surrounds you to quell your joy, your excitement for life, your enthusiasm. Why do you think you chose to teach children? Because they carry the innate and beautiful joy. Look for that again. Make every effort to find joy. If it is in other people, so be it. If it is in going to places where you see animals joyfully chasing frisbees, where you see a butterfly joyfully flitting from flower to flower, where you see anything that is exhilarating, enlightening, joyful, uplifting, and empowering, where you see the gleaming eye of the child that knows not life's supposed suffering. That is what you know before you came in. And that is what you and I must aspire to because we are beacons of light. And we cannot complete our task if we are not available for others. It is this joy that is missing in you supporting your soul power group. It is this joy that is missing in your heart. Take every moment to find it. It is all around you, I promise. Look for it. Breathe it in. Smile and look for the next one. Keep that refreshing energy to fill up your drained battery cells. Continue to refill the rest of your life and you will never look back. This is your soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I can tell you it was quite happy to give you that message, Pat. Okay, this message is for loveness. <coughs> My beloved loveness, 
You make life so hard for yourself. You know, when we have that huge belly laugh, the kind that your family has, the kind, you know what I'm talking about, that deep, heartfelt belly laugh, that's when we have forgotten everything. My message to you, my beloved loveness, is to belly laugh daily. Set your alarm. When you feel the helplessness from the fear, from the whatever, stop. Laugh at it. Is it serving you? Of course it is. It's reminding you that it is not what you are to focus on. I miss that. Return to me, dear one. It is the way you and I will reconnect. I love you. How? What a beautiful soul. She was huge. She looked like Big Mama. She was so happy and cheerful, like Happy Buddha. Beautiful soul. Okay, Cheryl Ray. My beloved Cheryl, it is my greatest honor to speak to you. We have had so many good times when you are staying with me. And when you are distant from me, you feel so lost. You wonder why am I here? What is the purpose of this journey? There are times when you are on cloud nine because you feel love. There are times when you are banging your head against the wall, crying to me, crying to God. The gaps are because of your inability to trust me, God, the purpose you are here is to serve, is to align, is to love all unconditionally. How do you move out of a rut? You go out to serve others. How do you stay connected to me? You spend the time in nature in a cleaner, better way. Take children with you doesn't matter whose they are maybe you have to join a Girl Scout troop whatever it takes you need to see and remember your childhood joy there are many times that you can remember that have great joy for you you are a bit lost now because you worry about your alignment to life and this journey but I tell you you are not far away from realignment. You simply need to remember your joy. Remember beauty is all around you. Pick up your art work again and do more. You know what I mean. Whatever helps you to have that release. Be consistent. Pay attention to these teachings and the teachings of this master. He will help you finish this journey in our lifetime in the highest and best way. I love you. I am always there for you. Continue 
to stay more and more connected to me and my message and I will do my best to align us to our joy how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you Cheryl Ray so Chelsea <coughs> my dear Chelsea life feels like riding a bicycle although it hurts when we hit the wall but I truly appreciate you because you get up dust yourself off and keep going with a smile I might add you have a tenacity that I truly admire I am so grateful that you have found this master Shaw in this lifetime you my dear must release a bit the apprehension of getting where you need to be by a certain day time month year this dedicated plan is good but the attachment to it the stress associated with it the approval that you would receive if you accomplish it when you are supposed to is not truly a value to our soul journey that is not to say do not complete the plan it is to say release the attachment to the how the when and the result or the rewards along the way if you are able to accomplish this you will have many many beautiful exciting surprises relationships and additional benefits that would never occur if you did not open up a bit more to allow the joys to come through the specifications I hope my message makes sense to you dear one know that I am here to guide you to release some of the attachments this is your soul how 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 thank you thank you thank you Pamela Carmel Ah, it has been a breath of fresh air to remember with you becoming one you have done much my beloved Pamela for us your bodhisattva connection is in your veins it is important that you stay connected to the Buddha lineage to Guan Yin lineage it is important to call upon them to assist you with attaining our goal I am constantly in can't can't grasp the word but it was it's just like constantly training with them I tell you one thing dear one our testing is in trust finances will not be smooth until trust love will not come until trust alignment will not fully occur until trust 
you have had this path many times before and we have done well together this path is the highest enlightened path and the only solution for us is higher layers of trust when you are tested remember that is the core of the test move into a relaxed smile chant release trust and it will dissolve almost as if it was never there because that is our test that is the guidance and that truly is all that is needed for us to achieve our goal in this life this is your soul how 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 thank you thank you thank you this message is for Johnny Beloved Johnny, we are one, but truly, I feel as though we are brothers, twins, if you will. I read your mind, you read mine. You say one word in the sentence, I say the next. I know you feel that we are not on the right path sometimes but I tell you we are you have stayed in step with my goal my intention in this lifetime you have accomplished much to clear karmic debts and are doing more to clear more it is important Johnny that you start to spread love peace and harmony you have a unique position in your career and it would be of great value for you to invest in placing this song on little USBs and to those that are in need offer it as a gift you will know and they will be open to receive in this way you are spreading the mission you are spreading the light you are achieving for us greater virtue and you are helping our soul journey to align continue on the path you are on all is well this is your soul how 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 thank you thank you thank you so thank you uh, Johnny soul <coughs> this message is for Kayla darling hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey uh, hey hey uh, my beloved Kayla this is your soul you know you are not doing enough you say you are trying but you are busy children etc you are not using your intelligence well you are very smart, smarter than you let others know. You are not sharing what you truly think about someone's thoughts or opinions, about how they could do something better, because you feel you're not worthy of sharing it. You are. You have open spiritual channels. You receive guidance well, and they need to hear it what you must do is learn to share with love thank you for sharing that I received some insights 
are you open to receive it? This is how you open that person's heart to what you need to share. In this way, you do not generate karma by holding on to it and not delivering it. And if you preface it, that person has the possibility of receiving it. And their journey and other people's journeys have the possibility of being positively impacted. So it is not so much going out and doing more, it is sharing what you know more often. This is my message to you on this day. This is your soul. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. <clears throat> For Anne Marie Stewart, and this will be the last one. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, you, uh, hey, uh, hey. My dear Anne, this is your soul. We actually have a very good communication and one that I am most grateful for. For us, dear Anne Marie, we must open our heart and soul more. We are a bit too introverted and we need to be more open. If you have any calligraphies that can open your, our heart and soul more. Ask them also to help us to be more extroverted, to clear the Shen Jijing blockages that keep us from sharing how we need to share. This is not a one-time thing. This is a lifetime necessity for us. Make us shine and our soul journey will be substantially more in alignment with what our teacher and master has asked. This is your soul. I love you. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, I will try to offer a blessing before Facebook cuts me off. Prepare to receive. I will offer a blessing from a special calligraphy for opening the heart and soul. If it cuts off, Please like, share, tell others about this. Next week, when I come back on Monday, I may start a series on the seven soul houses, focusing on one soul house each day. I'll decide then if that's the right thing to do. So prepare yourself to receive for opening heart and soul. Dao Kai Fa Xin Ling Dao Dan Dao kai fa xin ling dao dan Dao kai fa xin ling dao dan Blesses all the souls watching this video Open our hearts and souls Open our hearts and souls Dao kai fa Xin Ling Dao Dan 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 Dao Kai Fa Opens our hearts and souls. Dao Kai Fa, open our hearts and souls. Dao Kai Fa, Xin Ling Dao Dan. Dao Kai Fa, Xin Ling Dao Dan. 
How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you to the beautiful souls of this calligraphy. Thank you, Divine. Thank you, Tao. Thank you, Source. Thank you, Master Shah. Thank you, Master Shah's original soul. Thank you to all the holy beings who came today, all the guides, angels, saints, heavens, teams, heavens, animals, the countless beings who have offered their forgiveness, all those who are considering offering their forgiveness, we ask you to return each time so that you know our heart to serve. It is my honor to serve you here today. I apologize if I did not get a chance to connect with you directly. I do offer soul reading services. Uh, you can go to my website, www.asoulhealer.com. You can see more information there. So I can offer soul reading, soulmate coaching, soul healing, any, anything that is needed.